consequentialism. I do you really think I'm going to be able to discuss normative ethics with Count Ankula? Do you think? Wait, is that how you think this is going to go? Count Count Ankula's going to be like, oh, I'm just joking, mate. When I have all Nazi friends and all these say Nazi stuff to a Nazi audience, and I'll say like, hmm, well, okay. If we first we have to select a normative ethical program that we can use to determine the efficacy and the values of your judgments. Okay, so first of all, we have to recognize that as a consequentialist, I'm going to, like, no, I don't, I don't. I I don't know about that one. You know how like in the cartoons when a character is being lectured, but they're not paying attention, they start to hear like, wah, 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 wah. I think that's what people like Dankula hear when I'm like trying to explain very, very, very basic like ethical. I think so like, you know, like it just turns into. Yes, I am Count Dankula, and I would like to say hello to my fellow white Christian brothers in the chat. I'm Vosh. I do the okay. base, I guess, even there when I don't want to. Them. White people are superior to all other races, and all other races are, you know, are or should be subservient to whites, and things should be done only for the benefit of whites. Do you feel I am a white supremacist? Oh yeah, that's definitely the impression of you that I get. But yeah, like we'll 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 find out what you actually believe, right? Or actually, we'll find out what you're willing to commit to believing, because we can never actually know what a person believes. So you could you could be talking shit when you say you love black people. I love black people. Love other races as well, then. Yeah, of course, it's impossible to deductively prove whether or not a person actually believes something. It's it's not right. possible. It is literally impossible to deductively prove what another person believes. This isn't usually the type of debate that I have. Like, what does a person believe? That's a very difficult conversation to have. So instead, what I think would be more interesting is if I proceed under the assumption of good faith, the Count Dankula is an egalitarian, and then I build up all the reasons why I have been led to believe that he is not, and I can see how he feels about the accusations that I would levy there. So my argument would not be, um, Count Dankula, you are a white supremacist, I will prove it, which is not possible, but instead, Count Dankula, I've been given the impression you're a white supremacist, let's go over the reasons why. I'm interested That's in hearing your response. It's not what you said, though. You said that I, in fact, am. You've said it several times. Yeah, I have fact. to inductively reason it, but I think for the purposes of the discussion, it's better to walk through my thought process as I come to discover your content and the way that you talk and engage with stuff, rather than presumptively making the accusation and then, like, post-talk going over all the assumed evidence. I think it's a better way to go over inductive reasoning. But yeah, I think that, if I may, this will be the, the end to my um, opening statement. My guess is what's going to happen here is we're going to engage in good faith conversation for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and then after that is going to devolve into increasingly irreverent um, uh, back and forth bickering. Um, you're going to say the term, it's just a joke. Do you know what a joke is, mate? Or I'm a fucking comedian about 80 times over the course of this discussion. We're not going to have any way of actually reasoning out anyone's positions and it will end because up being a complete waste of time. You can't say it's just a joke to everything and expect that there's no underlying biases that inform the reason you make those jokes. To me, making jokes about edgy shit like that is a little bit like making jokes about being a pedophile. Now, if you're an edgy boy, and I am, and you are, you know, sometimes making jokes like that can be funny if it's well-timed and well-paced and stuff. I accept that. I'm a big free speech warrior myself. But if you are constantly making jokes about how you like kids and you hang out with people who unironically say they like kids and you foster communities full of people who say they like kids and you're, everyone underneath all your tweets is talking about how, ooh, yeah, they agree, kids are awfully nice to molest. Kids are awfully nice to molest. Then I would start to wonder, how sincere is the joke defense and how much of it is just you avoiding responsibility for the stuff you actually believe. So that's more or less the the like the, the framing I'm going to be approaching this with. But hey, listen, if you're not a white supremacist, you should have a very easy time here because I'm the one who's making the uh making the attack. I don't really control who follows me or who likes me either. I mean I have made I've made pedo jokes and everything in the past as well. I've I've done that. Doesn't mean I'm a pedophile. I've made racist jokes in the past. Doesn't mean that I'm racist. They're just jokes. Why not ask me if I believe in those things? Oh, That's sure. The best yeah, the, the answer is because I think you guys lie because you're spineless cowards. That's the main reason. Why. <laughs> so I can ask. So, I mean, wait, 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 really quickly, really quickly. Know, wait, 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 wait. Do you know? Wait, wait, wait. You asked me a question. Wait, I'm just answering. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're good to it. Okay. So do you know a person called Nick Fuentes by chance? Yes, I do. Nick Fuentes is a neo-Nazi. Now, listen, free marketplace of ideas. I'll talk about anything. But dude's a Nazi. If I ask him, are you a Nazi? He doesn't say yes. 
The reason for that is because, especially on the platform that we're on right now, lying about your views is a way more effective way of disseminating them than just being open about it. If everyone who was a bigot just said like, yeah, I'm a racist, welcome, we're gonna talk about racism, then there probably wouldn't be that many racists in the world. But things like dog whistling are a very effective way of bringing people over. I would say that you're particularly bad at it. Um, I would say the only people who can look <laughs> at your content and not think there's an underlying bias are people who are willfully delusional or people who are biased themselves. But that's what we're here to discuss. I'm interested in that. So, so, it's ba it's, so basically the set up to this as white supremacy is something that's very vague and can be applied to very, very many things outside of the most commonly re recognized or even the officially recognized definition. And what, regardless of what I say, people could still assume that I'm a white supremacist because we can never confirm what people truly believe. And also, regardless of what I say, it can be discredited as lies because white supremacists lie. What a, what a convenient setup it is for you. See, it's it's, funny, it well, it's funny that you're retreating to this because this is how you discuss I'm literally retreat, all I'm, ideas. I'm, I'm, so wait, wait, really, I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think it's possible? Saying. Do you think it's possible that a person could have a belief and lie about it? Do you think that's conceivable? I do think it's conceivable. All right, then how do we, how do we determine whether or not they have that belief? You could always ask me. Wait, wait, I said they lie. So how do we determine whether or not they have that belief? I guess you're just going to have to trust me, Bosch. Wait, wait, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about broadly speaking. What do you do but if this, they but lie? But this, but this debate is about me. Okay, I'm That's asking you a generalized true. question that we can apply to the context of this specific discussion. What do you do if a person okay. lies? How do you find out what they actually believe? I would probably say it reflects in their actions. Oh, okay. So you're saying you can look at their actions and inductively assume their beliefs from the things they do. Uh, despite making up only 13% of the population, okay. black people commit 52% of the crime. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've heard that one before, yeah. but from some very unsavory people. Yeah, it's just that whenever I say that, I'm just trying to annoy people. Okay. Um, you, That's the, literally it. Right. So the comment section beneath that tweet are literally just chock full of people making racist jokes and posting racist memes. Um, when we say like a joke is racist, we're not saying the subject of that joke is racism. We're saying the joke itself is racist, that just because it's a joke doesn't mean it's not racist. So you're just trying to like, I don't know, you say you're trying to troll people, but your audience seems to like it. They really like the 1350 thing. I don't know who's getting upset by this. My dude, if you wanted to get your audience upset, you should have said trans women are women. Your audience oh, no, is totally fine thing. with this. Your audience loves it. You're, no one here is trolled. No one here oh, is no, upset. No, no. <laughs> Hold on, dude. You try to say that my audience doesn't like trans women. Oh, well, okay. That, that could be a mischaracterization. Wait, that could be a mischaracterization on my part. Do you think your audience, generally speaking, respects the right for trans people my, to exist? And my, my audience really, really like trans women because they have fine tastes. So do they like trans people as in they support their right to get transition? They don't call them like mentally ill? Or are they saying they like trans women because they like trap porn or food porn on their Discord? <laughs> some, but footers aren't traps. Footers aren't trans. That's something completely different, but I don't want to get bogged down in the details of that. So are we going to look at tweets that I've done or are we going to look at actual real world actions, stuff that I've done? Well, we a tweet is an action. You tweet, you... Uh, okay, I know, but that's picked some pixels on a screen. What about some real world shit? Wait, ra wait, 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 wait. Racism isn't racism if it's done online? When did I say that? Uh, well, you just implied a distinction between pixels on a screen and real world shit. I mean, you affect literally hundreds of thousands of people online. You should know that more than anyone because you're a public figure online. Ask me, do I feel the white race is superior to all other races? Um, ask, ask me. I mean, I think you're going to... Oh, sure. Do you think the white race is superior to all other races? 100%. I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't give me no answers. I'm sorry. They are, they are, my, my, uh, real, my, real answer, my real answer is no. I don't believe uh, Okay, that. but ask, I can't... Ask, ask, me, ask me, do I believe in an ethno-state? Do you believe in an ethno-state? No. Okay, wonderful.
mixed race relationships. Ask me if I, if I don't, I'm but okay. I don't care about what you say yes or no. What I'm interested in is testing your reactions to things you've said no, in the no, past. I'm, no, if you want to know if I'm a white supremacist, then you should probably ask me, you know, what my beliefs are in certain areas to see if my beliefs match up with white supremacists. How about, instead of asking you what you believe, what no, if I no, asked you ask what you me. oppose? That's what I'm more interested in. Because if you oppose something, you here, I'll give you an example. Okay, wait, wait, uh, uh, this, wait, wait I'm, being, I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm reaching out right now. Um, do you, yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm trying to talk about that. Do you do you right. like child molestation? Is that a thing you're like a a, a fan or a proponent of? A uh, huge opponent of. Okay, good. So if you were talking with other um, child molesters and they were like, "I love getting my hands on kids," and you were on a podcast with them or like a YouTube show, would you just sit there and laugh with them, or do you think you might push back a little bit? And these are actual like child molesters. These aren't people making edgy jokes. These are people uh, I've, who- I've, I've, I've literally debated them in the past. Yes. Oh, okay, so you'd agree like it's morally apprehensible for you to be in a position where you're agreeing with and like bolstering like child molesty values. Yeah, but I know you're trying to compare that to the far right, but whenever I'm hanging out with them and talking to them, I don't agree with them. Uh, but you hang out with them and you laugh at their jokes and share their audience, right? Which I'd feel uncomfortable with if we were comparing these people to child molesters. What about what about what about, what about mixed mixed race mixed race relationships? Ask ask me about that. Um, I, I mean, I don't I care what you answer, but yeah, yeah. How do you feel about mixed race relationships? Well, I mean, I, I mean if, if we're trying to establish whether or not I'm a white supremacist, then that's a thing to ask me, isn't it? White supremacists don't like race mixing. But I don't. But I don't care about asking. I just want to inductively infer from other yeah mixed race relationships do you want to know my opinion on mixed race relationships i mean i i have a i have a feeling what you say is going to be identical to what i believe i don't care it's none of my fucking business i'm not fucking these people i'm not in a sexual relationship with them so do whoever they have a sexual relationship with is zero of my fucking business or oh, such and such as dating a black guy such and such as dating a white guy i don't care Okay. I don't care. Okay, that's right? that's that's these people. I don't give a shit. Th okay, that's that's great, but with that being said, I don't care what people say about their values. I don't trust okay. any of the people in your community. I don't trust any conservatives or any. I, honestly, I trust myself and like close well, friends. Isn't, isn't, isn't that convenient? Well, no, no, no. I don't trust anyone who I disagree with because people are incentivized to lie about their beliefs. Everybody from Sargon of Akkad to Nick Fuentes has either directly to me or openly in relation to me lied about their values. So all I can actually do is try to figure out what you really believe. And while it is possible to excuse behavior with a joke, like I said, you've made many anti-Semitic jokes, but I don't think you're an anti-Semite. Sometimes the preponderance of evidence is so great, it seems more likely you're just disguising bigotry than it is you're just a jokester who has a far-right audience and talks with far-right well, people and makes far-right jokes. Let's take a scenario, okay? You're a kid, or you're like a 16-year-old. You've got a father. White father, suburbs, the whole nine yards, white picket fence. And this father, for the most part, perfectly reasonable person. Decent, wears a sweater vest, great guy, okay? But then your sister goes out with a black guy, and your father gets real fucking mad about it. Now, he doesn't say anything like, I think all whites are superior to black people, but he's clearly uncomfortable meeting the guy. He clenches his fist. He talks to his daughter saying like, hey, listen, I want you going out with the right kinds of people, okay? He never outwardly confirms anything, but all of his behavior seems to indicate that he's got a racial bias. Now, do you think it would be fair of me to look at that behavior and say, hey, dad, you're kind of fucking racist, even though I can point to years of precedent of that dad ostensibly being in favor of racial egalitarianism. This is the joke people make about all the fucking like liberals and Karens who are like these big woke progressives online, but then when it actually comes down to it, they harbor <coughs> some pretty severe biases. That's my concern. I don't actually place much um, credence in what people say about themselves. At the end of the day, well, it's about the actions they engage in. Then, but then basically, if you are here to establish like whether or not I am a white supremacist, and you're saying that what the standard you're trying to set is, don't place credence in what other people say, but you somehow get to act as the voice of authority to your thousands of viewers, and they're supposed to believe what you say. You've kind of discredited like no, 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 no. Talk. I'm not saying you can't believe what people say. I'm saying you can't believe what people say about themselves. I'm just trying to make arguments as to why a reasonable person might interpret your behavior as racist. Right, I don't find it very reasonable when my jokes are treated as actual factual statements about my beliefs, but whenever I make actual serious statements about my beliefs, those are disregarded. Okay, That's because jokes are a good way, thoughts. jokes are a form of communication that can harbor underlying intent. Do you so think you it's want, possible you want, that a person can make racist want, jokes to signal racism? You, you,
Do you want to know what is much, much better than using a joke for that? Giving an actual sincere statement. No, <laughs> because wait, 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 then wait, then why is it? Wait, 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 then why is it? I'm very familiar with the content of people like Nick Fuentes. Why is it that whenever he makes sincere statements about his beliefs, he comes oh, off very you, much like a good patriot? Wait, wait, but this is the thing. You keep, you keep tripping at the hurdle, dude. I'm trying to pick you up and move you past this goalpost you keep tripping over, okay? I don't care what you say about yourself. I care about your actions. Okay, then. Okay, Bosh. I'm trying I'm to help Nick you out. Fuentes. I just want to talk I'm about not, your actions. I'm not, I'm not Nick Fuentes. I'm not Sargon, right? I'm not mm -hmm. any of those people. Okay, Stop yeah, you're you. bringing them into it. Yeah, I'm me, right? And I'm yeah. here telling you what I actually You're you. You're a beautiful... No, 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 I don't care what you say. I just want to go over your actions. And when, when you say stuff like, well, what does it matter? I'm sorry, I'm not going to try and do your accent. You sound fine. Um, when you say stuff like, how could you possibly say I'm racist just because of a couple of jokes I make, when apart from those jokes, I say I'm not racist? Well, because I know lots of racist people who do exactly that. So clearly it's possible to harbor racist and intent and express okay. it through jokes. Okay, okay, okay. Vosh, are you a pedophile? Uh, not to my knowledge, I hope not. Right. Yeah, no, okay, there. I, know, there. Lot, yeah. I know a lot of pedophiles that whenever you ask them that, they say no. Oh, yeah, okay, true. And that's yeah. why when I think a person is a pedophile, I wouldn't ask them. I would look to see if they've engaged in any creepy behavior with underage people. But how, do, but how, do, how would you really know? Most of that happens in the DMs. No, no one's really public about that. They like to hide it. Maybe yeah, it can be really tough. Jokes. Yeah, inductively maybe, reasoning maybe. people's beliefs is really difficult. There is literally no way for me to prove you're a white supremacist. I, I hung that up at the door from the very beginning. What I'm trying to do okay. is show you the reasons why I think you are, and I'm interested okay. in hearing your criticisms of my analysis of your actions. Okay, then that's fine. I would still say the best way to do it would be to ask me, you know, do I share beliefs with white I can't. It doesn't can matter if I ask you. Like that, like I, that, yes, we need to look at your actions. So, so basically the, the secret hidden meaning behind my spicy memes are what we really need to look at here. But my actual sincere statements, you know. Okay, well, let's go back to the dad. Let's go back to the racist dad. Let's go back to the racist dad. If we could talk to that dad about the racism, would you? do you think it's reasonable to accuse that dad of being racist? Or say like, hey dad, I think you might have a little bit of a weird racist thing about your daughter's boyfriend. Do you think that might be like a thing you could do? Yeah, that's something that you could do because that's actually something tangible that he's done. Basically, well, all, you know, all he's done is so say like, things which can be interpreted as racist, which you've done more of than the dad has in this analogy. Okay, but here's, here's, here's the thing is, right? Let's say, let's say, right, that you had a dad who likes to make the occasional racist joke at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. You know, some people laugh. And mm -hmm. I don't, but then, but then, uh, but then his daughter brings uh, Big Tyrone home. Mm -hmm. Six foot eight, shoulders like the side of a bus. And instead, mm -hmm. the dad's really friendly with him and going, hi, how are you doing? Come on in, do you want a beer? Right, but it would you would you then would you then say that basically that's completely discredited because he's made years of racist jokes? But when he actually you know was confronted with a situation like that in the real world, instead of acting racist or displaying a racial bias, he acted like a normal. Are you asking person. me if it's possible for a person to be racist and have a black friend? No, nope, that's not what I asked you. I well, asked that you is that question. is what you I asked me. Asked I think it's I think it's possible that the dad is just an edgy meme lord and that he's actually totally fine with black people. But I also think can it's you, possible. Can, you, can, I, can I hear can I hear those words again? Can I? Hear but I've always acknowledged. Wait, I, yeah, I, of course. Wait, I, I, I said at the beginning of this discussion that the it's just a joke thing isn't no, always a bad argument. I've made that argument. Say the, please say those words again, though. I know, I know. I just loved hearing them. They were just beautiful. They Are were you, music to my ears. They were Chopin in the later years. Please Are you under the again. impression this is a concession on my part? No, I don't. Oh, okay, so you just like your. That. Oh, oh, if you just like the sound of my voice, then yeah, I'll say it real nice for you, okay? It oh, is entirely please. possible that the jokes don't belie an underlying racist intent. No, that, that wasn't exactly it. Oh, well, I do, actually do, forget. Do, I, for, do, oh, wait, wait, I forget the exact reality. thing. That's basically what I said, though, right? I, I forget mean, basically, the exact thing. he's not racist. He's just an edgy meme lord. That yeah. Was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally music. possible. But it's also music. possible. And the second thing I was going to say is that that's not the case. And that he's just faking being okay around Tyrone because Tyrone's six foot eight. And actually, he's secretly. <laughs> so, so he's fucked either way. No, <laughs> I'm saying the jokes on their own aren't enough. You have to discuss the underlying intent. Inductive reasoning is difficult. It's not as easy as just looking at statistical information. That's an easy discussion. Just find data that wait, pertains let, to the question. Let's, 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 go, let's go back. To, wait, wait, like, but, but, wait, wait, but wait, I want to ask you. Wait, wait, wait. So really quickly. So about the dad. So about the dad. So first analogy. Yeah. He's weird about the daughter dating a black guy. Okay. So how, would, how do you think I would feel if I'm the dad's son? 
So I'm the son, I guess. And I walk up and I'm like, hey, dad, I feel like you're being a little bit racist about my sister's boyfriend. That's a little strange. And he's like, ask me how I feel about black people. <laughs> well, that's one way to go about it. Or he says, ask me how I feel about black people. Ask me. Do you love black people? I love black people. Oh, damn. I guess there's no issue then. The The problem is okay, what no, you're doing. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, but now I'm going to make a prescriptive argument to you, okay? okay I'm going do, to make the you, assumption. Do you have any examples of me acting weird with black people in the real world or anything like that? Or me acting weird with minorities? No, not at all. World? Not even slightly. No, but I knew okay. racist people in high school who also got along just fine with black and brown people. So it doesn't mean much to me. Well, if they, if they were racist, they were very fucking shit at it. No, you can be racist internally, but you can still, like, have black and brown friends. You're yeah, literally that's, that's, giving the, like, black friend argument right now. That's, that's like a low-tier fucking racist, though, isn't it? You can argue it's, it's a low-tier... Well, that's the thing, and here's the big distinction. I would never waste time arguing about your perspective if you weren't a huge public figure. The issue isn't... I don't care what's going on in your head, really. That doesn't really bother me. The issue that I have is the effect that you have on the world. So it seems to me like your behavior, even if we were to be incredibly charitable and assume that all of it is just jokes, all of it for years, which, I, which is not impossible, that doesn't change the fact that your audience, a lot of it, seems to be unironically racist. As judging by those two tweets, you post two bait tweets. One of them is, I'm okay with white people being replaced, and all your audience is like, bait, troll, haha, nice one. Yeah, you post yeah, you post 1350, you know. and your audience is like, haha, you're right, those black people, 1350. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, it's pretty clear how your audience is responding to your humor. You say both the 1350 tweet and the uh -huh. replacing white people tweets were bait, but they got different reactions, radically uh -huh. different ones. The only well, explanation, wait, 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 the only explanation for the different reactions is that your audience is more comfortable with racism than they are with legal immigration into white majority countries, which would belie well, the, that is, that is the only reasonable explanation for them signaling racism back, but just going like, oh, bait, troll, when you did the white replacement thing. So with that I'm being the case, do you no, think no, it's no, strange no, 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 that no, no, you've attracted that audience? Sometimes when you use different kinds of bait, you get a different kind of fish. This is, yeah, I, oh, no, I agree. You're, when you use racist bait, your audience likes it. And when you use <laughs> anti-racist bait, your audience doesn't like it. I agree. Some that that would be my argument, yes. Some, some, of, some of the audience do, but I mean, do you have anything else apart from like two tweets? I'm sorry, wait, hold on. If a person um, if a person is implicated in um, some sort of pedophilia scandal where it's found out that they did some really weird underage grooming shit, do you think that person could come on my stream and say, well, I've got 25 years on this planet before this came up. Do you really think I'm a pedophile? Why don't we take a look at the whole history? Do you have any pictures of me at 16 doing any baby raping? Uh -huh. I don't think that you do some of the things that I criticize you for intentionally. I do th sincerely think you're an edgelord, and I know that because I used to be a gigantic fucking edgelord. I've been weaned off a little bit with time, especially now that I'm like a lefty YouTuber or whatever, but I recognize that sometimes you just want to fucking fling those n-words out, you have a great fucking time with it, and then people come at you and they're like, you're being racist? Like, what? No, I'm not fucking racist, I'm just being edgy. Um, I totally get and I sympathize with that. The issue is, and I recognize this as I got more into sociology, that people can carry unconscious biases that can affect them in ways they're not entirely familiar with. Like, for example, I'm very progressive. It's undeniable that there is some legitimate misogyny somewhere inside of my brain. That's undeniable. I cannot deny that fact. If somebody accused me of being sexist, I might bristle a little bit at the accusation, but I still have to recognize fundamentally, like, yeah, I probably am, I do subscribe a little bit possibly to certain emotional biases. And that's what I worry about here. White supremacist beliefs, right? Just ask me if there's certain things that I believe in. I don't care what you so why do we keep well, going that's, that's the point of the debate no the shit. point wait that's then totally if that the was point. the point of the debate when they come here in five minutes after i ask hey, you hey much. do you believe in racism you'd say no and then we'd leave like what was the point of that so this debate basically started with Vosh, the brainlet toxified the entire debate and saying he won't believe anything mark says because reasons do you want to respond to that Vosh? Can I, I just, okay, I just want to address this, okay? I don't trust anyone online because we all have monetary incentives to avoid being honest about our positions. Um, if we believe something that is too spicy or that our audience wouldn't like, we lie about it. A lot of people do. I don't even think it's a moral point. It's just something you have to do. So my concern is just, I, I just want to try and like get at people's underlying actions. And for what it's worth, from my conversation with Count Dankula, while I still disagree probably with a fuckload of things that he believes, um, I, I do not, I'm pretty confident that his behavior isn't motivated by like 
some underlying like nefarious intent, which is a lot more that I can say about a lot of people. I didn't expect to come out feeling that way, and I'm very happy with how this discussion went. Oh, so do you, do you feel like uh, Count Dankula is a white supremacist at the end of this? Um, I mean, you can't inductively. No, no, I, I mean, I don't, um, I, we all have racial biases. Um, I think it's fairly likely that Count Dankula has a number of biases that inform his humor, but I would say that of literally anyone except for the wokest fucking people around, I, I own up to biases myself. So to the, how much of that bias is informing people's behavior versus how much of it is completely apolitical edgelord stuff. I don't really know. It's impossible for me to know. All I can know is that I'm, I'm much happier with this convo than I expected to be. So I probably wouldn't like call him out. Like for a white supremacist maybe like an edgelord who like cultivates an audience of white supremacists but even then like we'd have to go back and have that conversation which we which would be a really annoying conversation to have nice, all right Jim, let's go. be well okay later dude okay. See you, man. Oh. oh god all right Jesus, I was about to start dropping in bombs.